DJ Scream. Corey, what's happening? Spins on the beat. It's Hood Rich Radio. You better not change the station. You know what it is, man. DJ Scream, that superstar check in at Indie Spotlight and represent the day. Dallas, Texas, the one, the only. Introduce yourself to the people. Introduce yourself to the people. What's happening, people? This is Miss Kiki. Yes. Uh, Shaquilla, whatever they want to call me. I am Queen of Crunk Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Out here in that ATL. Shout out DJ Scream. It's a blessing to be here. I'm in the building. Welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta. ATL. Now, first off the top. Now, you know, a lot of people, when they... um. When they see female artists, they can be hard on female artists. I need you to explain to the people what separates you from other female artists and also explain to the people why you can hold your own with the male artists in the industry because that's important, you know what I mean? Okay. Well, the thing that uh, I would say that separates me from the other female artists would be uh, me. Basically, I'm, I'm pretty much original. I got my own style. Mm -hmm. I've been through a lot in my life. Childhood rough, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But... Ain't nothing broke me yet, you know what I'm saying? I took a vacation and now I'm back on the clock. I'm just ready to get back to the music. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what separates me. I'm gonna say originality. A lot of people have people they look up to, as I do too. Mm -hmm. And I look up to a lot of artists, you know. I'm listening to some people, you know, when I'm young, like Crucial Comfort, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Three Six Mafia, mm -hmm. Bone. I was more like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, people like, this girl, she must be a little throwed off, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I'm rapping fast, you know, fifth mm -hmm. grade and stuff. You mm -hmm. know, I'm going to Dale Turner everywhere. I went to a thousand schools because, yeah. like I said, I, I, I was nomadic. Right. So, but uh, I'll that's in the past. And I'm just ready to get to it. Uh, And I would say the thing, that's what separates me, you know. Right. Originality. Right. But uh, the other thing... uh. So Just so let's young. say say one of these guys in here rapping, they came up and they wanted to get at you, battle you. You, you, you what you gonna do? You gonna take care of it? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely take gonna care take of care of it. I'm not gonna be <laughs> silent. You know okay, what I'm that's all right. right. Cool. <laughs> all right. So I mean, I mean, it's not gonna be like we gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna try to fight them at the end or nothing. Right. Like okay. I mean, but nah, not like that. Take yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna <laughs> accept the challenge. I like that. I love music. You know what I'm saying. So yeah. I'm gonna accept that. I'm gonna help him out if he's sorry. You know what I'm saying. Mm. I I help him. I write him a verse. Nice. Nice. I, I want to help up. everybody. Help me help you. Yeah, that's what's up. How is it coming up? Or how was it coming up in Dallas, and how is the scene in Houston right now? Man, coming up in Dallas, it was tough. You know, started off in South Dallas, off St. Clair. You know, uh, my mama, you know, I'm an 80s baby, so you know what that right, means. Right, right. Four parents, penitentiary. Got you. Moved around, went from South Dallas to Eau Claire. Mm. Was in Eau Claire for a while. Mm. Moved around, went to the Grove, mm -hmm. went to Mesquite. Went so, to Duncanville, graduated so, in Pleasant Grove, Skyline. So through all that, um, it's safe to say music was your therapy? Definitely, because I was performing on every stage at every school. So a lot of people, they know me, but mm -hmm. the world need to know me. And I ain't trying to be local like that. Yeah. You know, so I got an independent mind frame, but everybody needs to know that even though you may be independent, you need other resources and tools, you know, people that can help you get to where you get. You can't be too, you know what I'm saying, mm. big on yourself like that. You mm. need some help. Ain't nobody Jesus. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Who are some of your influences coming up? Yeah, influences coming up, I'm going to say Twister, number Twister, one. Twister, okay, dope. Ooh, ludicrous, definitely, Lord, man. I okay. mean, T.I. went back to back on his motivation ASAP. <laughs> I mean, yeah. right before I got on the plane, the day before I came out here, they were jamming T.I. hard. I'm talking about People looking at me crazy because it's motivation. Yeah, it's old, but nigga, I'm motivated. <laughs> you motivated. I'm about to go right. to this place. I feel like he's talking to me. He don't know. He don't know yeah. nothing about me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But so, what kind of space does that put you in now when you turn on the radio or when you hear, you know, the music that's coming out now? Oh, uh, when I hear the music that come out right now, it's kind of like I can keep my shades on and still see that maybe one person writing everybody's stuff. Mm. That's what it sounds like sometimes. Mm. You know, mm. it may not be true. But on the radio right now, like on the countdowns, because mm -hmm. when I do listen to the radio, it'd be mm -hmm. the same four, three, same four vibe. songs. And, yeah. And half of them seem, you know, to me, I think, like, that maybe everybody needs to come together, work on some development, writing skills, mm -hmm. and get the music back to where it used to be. Like, because Neo, them, Dream, all of them, they're some mm -hmm. good writers, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They can either help some hip-hop niggas out, too. You know, when you how got we, music talent, you hear about anybody. How do we bridge the gap between that? Because me, um, I, I guess I'm a little awkward because I like Outkast, I like Goody yeah. Mob, I like Jay-Z, Wu-Tang. The list goes on and on, but 
be honest, man, I like 21 Savage, Kodak Black, and Lil yeah. Uzi Vert, too. Like, I like the new I young like vibe it. because it reminds me of looking at me when I was young. and Younger, I should say. I'm I still like young. too, but that's but, not on the radio where I'm at. You know? Okay, got you. I don't hear that on the radio where I'm at. Okay, you're talking about I'm very talking about, mainstream. Yeah, you know, so I, okay. I don't really listen to the radio, so I can't say as a whole with the whole radio, but the, just the stations I list, listen to, and I mm. won't name them, mm. but, I mean, it's the same little countdown over and over. Right. And uh, it, it'll go for like three months, the same right. song, you right. know what I mean? It's called programming. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, that, that <laughs> is like definitely TV, programming. programming. You know how you turn on BET and they say, show the same three Tyler Perry movies <laughs> over and over and over? Same thing going on, on radio. You're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no but choice. No. So do you have a project out or coming out? Definitely. I'm working on two things right now. I'm working on something called Hustleholic, I Gotta Eat. And that's pretty much Queen of Crunk Entertainment, mm. you know, I'm in ATL, so I think I should explain Queen of Crunk Entertainment do. out of, out of do. respect. I was going to ask you that next. So now, actually... when I was in uh, college like 10 years ago, I'm in mm. there right now. I'm mm. graduating in December. But 10 Congrats. years ago when I was supposed to be in there, mm. Lil Jon was going in. Mm-hmm. East Side Boy before I even got to it. And mm-hmm. then, you know, I got on my own. I left Dallas, went to Prairie View. Mm-hmm. That's a <laughs> and then Lil Jon came out with all these chants. And, you know, me, that's <laughs> all I used to do when I was young was chanting. We'll be taking a TOS test. I don't know what y'all call it out here, but the yeah. one, if you don't pass it, you ain't passing. Right. So, shit, I make up TOS test. Let me see you toss it up. Yeah. Like, we, we was doing stuff like musical when we were little, you know? Right. And a couple few other people, but, like, that's just how it is. Like, br- gaps c- can be bridged, you know right. what I'm saying? Right, right, gotcha. You just need everybody to have that love, that same passion, and everybody don't. Sometimes people come to you and say, hey, let me get an album cover together for you. Let me come record you. Nigga, I've been doing that for 20 years. <laughs> I look young because I was a mascot and I had an outfit at PV twerking. I'm in right. shape like that, but I'm, I'm I'm getting up there, you know what I'm saying? So that that, that leads me with, 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 with the name or subtitle, uh, with your name such as Queen that. Crunk, yeah. I I, I want to see you perform. I'm actually going to go by Shaquilla, though, you know what I'm saying? Shaquilla? Queen of Crunk, I just I built that like as, as my entertainment. Okay. I have an entertainment. I'm going to say when we say that and people come to your show, you're going to have to. Yeah, I, I, I don't to, got no problem with explaining it. I explain it every time. Not even explain though but you, is the show's gonna have, definitely to, definitely they're gonna have to they're gonna have to sweat you know what i'm saying they're gonna have to sweat the weaves exactly. out and shit like mm-hmm. it's gonna have to be a real show well, yeah you know, you know you get even if you just chilling like this and you just you just swinging like that and somebody be like go on the bus i can just hear something i already wrote really mm-hmm. i can freestyle like mm-hmm. my rap is my trap doing business independent push it back i'm that artist i'm painting that picture fucking with your vision now sit back and listen to ingredients i'm in that mix and i'm hit number one in minute now i'm representing triple d my hometown i'm texas made song now for that fame i was local in that club took a few break but never gave it up my talent is violent in that booth that has it when i do a show i do a lot of damage nick with me in another city we high as fuck like fake titties ho let them hang fake ass shot bitch by brain i guess not now i'm on top of bitch i been popping everybody know me don't go ain't no stopping my quality a plus quantity a plus i am hustleholic i know they gonna hate her but i don't give a fuck some of it at this shit they probably mistake her Cause she's stacking paper Flipping that music make a nigga dance Blow a few blunts and Christian never land When I get a beat of mic up in my hand I demolish that bitch in games I ain't playing scream <laughs> <laughs> Now that's the second time Let me give you an applause for a second right. right. Scream clap for me hey, I- now that's the second time you just you you just taking my job over because I was gonna put you on the spot, oh, but you just I'm took the spot. To do that. I you told just Will, took the spot. Need to guide me now. <laughs> hey, I look, you you took me. the spot. I like that though. You got to do that. Me. What's three of your vices? What's the three things that might fuck with you and might hinder you a little bit? Like for different people, it's different things. What's three of your vices? Three, I would say, Kiki. Yourself? Shaquilla and Miss oh. Kiki. You your only Ain't vice? Else stop me from doing nothing. So no drug, no alcohol, nah, nah, no nah, sex, no addictions. I look, I'ma be honest. And I mean they can just come get me if they want to. I smoke weed, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And I drink I Hennessy. Think, I think everybody I in here does maybe. When, I'm just <laughs> right. saying, that's what I do. Weed and Hennessy and I'm good. Ain't nothing else and nobody else can't stop me from doing what I put my heart into and, and I that's vice. So let me give some advice to people that really want to do and got a heart that want to do something. Right. Like, do what you're going to do. Don't let nobody stop you, man, because your life is what you go through. Don't nobody know what you done went through. Mm-hmm. And it don't ever stop. Mm-hmm. I'm grown now, but 
shit still happening. Mm. With okay. family, all type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So That's what's up. All right. Well, you got it together. You're on top of your shit. No, I ain't got it together yet. That's why I'm in the <laughs> ATL. Y'all help me get it together. Help me help you, world. For real, it's a bigger world, and I know it. Yeah. T.I., Ludacris, Gucci, Guai, where you at? <laughs> you got to hit the booty club, man, the Blue Flame or something. Oh, yeah. yeah if you want to get all that going. That's, that's where you find the rappers in Atlanta. You got to go nearest booty club. I just yeah. need to be in their presence. I ain't even out here trying to beg for a No, nah, it ain't begging. It ain't begging. I'm going like to gonna tell you straight a, up. Like if you if you go up to them rapping style. like you just rapped to me, something going to happen. <laughs> I'm gonna be yeah. straight up with you. Well, yeah. Right. So this, I'm gonna take your advice on that. Yeah, or absolutely. Send them to Reverb Nation. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna take your advice. Yeah, I'm do. absolutely. Please get everybody your websites, your social media, and everything. Let them know what you got coming up before we ride out. That definitely should coming up. You know, it's a bigger world. I got Mr. William Lee in my corner. I got Bobby on deck, Bobby Newland. I mean, I just feel blessed. I just want to thank everybody in advance because I know the world gonna love me, man. You know what I'm saying? Miss Kiki, Queen of Crunk, Hustle, y'all got to eat. Shaquilla. Okay. There it is. There it is. Any final words? Say something to the people to motivate them. It's some other female artists or artists out there trying to get it. All y'all other female artists out there trying to get it, man. Believe in yourself. Don't let nobody else tell you you ain't good enough for that verse one hot enough. If you feel like it wasn't hot enough in your head, rewrite that hoe ten times to that same beat. Then you pick which one most fire. Then you record that hoe. Don't waste your time. Get it. Don't quit. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know what it is, man. Hood Rich Radio Superstar check in, Indie Spotlight salute. What up, DJ Scream? Corey, what's happening? Spins on the beat. It's Hood Rich Radio. You better not change the station.